Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. You know, there is a story that's broken in the last, oh, 48 hours in boxing that you need to pay attention to because it involves one of the sport's biggest names and one of the biggest upcoming fights. On June 9th, Manny Pacquiao is set to fight Timothy Bradley in what I believe is going to be an even tougher fight for him than his last fight against one Manuel Marquez. I think Bradley is very underrated. Understand, there are other opinions. I know there's someone who was involved in Marvin Hagler's corner who is on record as saying he believes Manny Pacquiao is going to dominate in the fight. I'm not so sure. So Manny Pacquiao, in my opinion, has to be as prepared as possible in that match. If you're part of Manny Pacquiao's team, you need to give your man all the support you can as he prepares for a huge fight against an unbeaten fighter. Understand what's at risk. Right? If Manny Pacquiao loses to Timothy Bradley, then a lot of the luster is gone from a possible matchup between Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Not only that, Pacquiao arguably would have unfinished business with Timothy Bradley, just like he has unfinished business with Juan Manuel Marquez. By the time Pacquiao addresses that unfinished business if he's able to. Right? We're talking about well into next year, assuming these mega fights, the Bradley rematch should Pacquiao lose. Or the Marquez fourth fight. Right? Assuming that these mega fights take four to six months to develop, Manny Pacquiao could well be tied up fighting guys other than Floyd Mayweather for the next 12 months, right? June 9th fight, then picture another four to six months, the rematch with Bradley, then picture another four to six months, the fourth fight with Marquez. We could well be back here in 2013 without Manny Pacquiao ever having fought Floyd Mayweather. Let's go further. If Pacquiao looks less than exemplary against Timothy Bradley, given the young names on the horizon and the fact that Andre Berto is fighting Victor Ortiz uh, at 147, the fact that Selkak Aiden is fighting Robert Guerrero, the fact that Amir Khan is fighting Lamont Peterson, right? The new generation, they're fighting each other and they're ready to take the throne. Given all of that, a less than exemplary performance by Manny Pacquiao against Timothy Bradley in his upcoming fight could really hurt his box office, right? Because fans might then think that they see a trend between his last fight against Marquez and this fight with Timothy Bradley. So it's very important that Manny Pacquiao and his team be as focused as possible. Now against that backdrop, one of boxing's most known nutritionists Alex Ariza has apparently decided to leave the Manny Pacquiao camp to help a different fighter, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., who's actually fighting the week after the Pacquiao fight. And apparently, this is not sitting well with another major member of Manny Pacquiao's team, his trainer, Freddie Roach. BoxingScene.com has a great article in which Roach is quoted in regards to Ariza as having said the following, which I consider to be very strong language. He's not a pro. What Alex has done is very unprofessional. He signed a contract to do a job and he practically rescinded that deal unilaterally. How can he do that? Worse, he made the decision because of money. That, to me, is unacceptable. 
right? Well, if you thought there was tension in the Manny Pacquiao camp, well, there's more than tension. That camp, in my opinion, seems to be ripping apart at the seams, right? In fact, it's so bad that Freddie Roach has already hired a different nutritionist to help with Manny's preparation, right? And so all I'm saying is this, you like to see stability in camp before a big fight. Here, there is instability. Worse yet, you know, you wonder if, given how hot the tempers are running, you wonder if Alex Ariza is ever able to rejoin the Pacquiao camp and work with Manny on future fights. The problem is this. If Manny Pacquiao loses this fight, people are going to view Alex Ariza as having caused the loss because of some financial argument that led to his leaving camp. Right? If Manny Pacquiao wins the fight, then the argument is going to be, who needs Alex Ariza? Right? This is a big, bold move, and right now it's tearing apart, in my opinion, Pacquiao's team and the wild card gym. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. You should keep track of this story because it is a developing one. Thanks for watching.